What's going on guys? Brandon here. I just wanted to start off by saying happy 4th of July. I hope you guys all have a fun-filled, safe day with friends and family. Uh, we'll be headed to my aunt's house for a cookout later. Very excited for that. But I am coming at you with a sweet 4th of July morning vintage toy haul. And this is a good one. I'm sorry in advance. For all of you that have been watching my videos, you know that they are very raw, unedited. You'll get interruptions and sounds in the back. Right now, you can probably hear the baby. Honestly, sounds like she's pooping, so I might have to cut this short to change a diaper, but I got the AC running in the background, so I apologize for the background noise, but just part of my channel. <laughs> and I thank you guys for watching, but let's get into this. Uh, to start, I paid 60 bucks for this lot. Um, the guy sent me a few pictures of toys in a bin. Like He didn't pick them out and take detailed pictures, just uh, a few pictures from the top of the bin. Um, I met up with him, bought the bin for $60, and I think you guys are going to like what I came up with. So as you guys will see, this is a nice mix of sweet retro toy goodness. These five figures here are Dukes of Hazard. Boss Hog is with his hat here because a lot of the times it's lost is a good 20 bucks by himself you go around here you have some randoms oh here we'll start with these actually these are little remote control mr. T cars on a wire the battery compartments are super clean in those um, I'm guessing it'll be like 30 or 40 bucks for that set but a lot of random stuff little Brutus mini Popeye bank Mickey Mouse hockey puck some G.I. Joe and Transformer tapes, random die cast cars, these are good for 4th of July of G.I. Joe's, American Heroes, you got some GoBots, um, a vintage Mego Batman, you never find him with his full uniform and little, little gloves and boots and cape, that stuff all comes off and is lost usually. Um, He's a good, I want to say, pro at least 50 bucks. I wish his little uh, icon there was in better condition, but unfortunately not. You have an original 1979 Star Wars Tauntaun. He's a good 20 bucks, especially because he has his uh, saddle and whatnot. Thundercats, Mr. T. That Mr. T, I'm actually going to do decent with him because all these little tiny accessories over here are for him, and you can never find them complete because... These little things are tiny. They all go in his tool chest here. Um, everyone always lost those. You have a G.I. Joe vehicle. Then we get into a bunch of Transformers, starting with the smaller ones. A bunch of the little cassette tape ones. And then the biggie of the lot is the G1 Optimus Prime. G1 is Generation 1. That's one of the first ones that came out, so that's really cool. And then just a bunch of other little random goodies these are pretty cool unfortunately a lot of them are broken I think this is the only one with intact hooks here but these are little superhero uh, paratroopers they came with um, parachutes so those are pretty neat I never came across those before um, and then what's cool is I got a big old bag of accessories which is awesome and there's stuff in here like this this is for a Skeletor he-man figure there's He-Man parts in here, which is, I guess the guy had gotten rid of stuff years ago, unfortunately, because it looks like he would have had a lot of good stuff, like these wings for the Transformer, um, which I don't, I mean, I have this Transformer, I think I have those pieces already, but that is not in this lot, so there's a lot of random pieces, but then there's actually a lot of pieces that go with this stuff too, like this is the Optimus Prime's fist with the gun and another fist. So overall, really cool. And then lastly, there's some uh, instruction booklets and whatnot for the Transformers. And actually for the G.I. Joe vehicle as well. So that's the Devilfish, is this boat here. So overall, not a bad haul at all for 60 bucks. A lot of cool stuff that I'm going to keep. And a couple money makers as well. Once again, I hope you guys have a safe and fun 4th of July. I'll give you a sneak peek at baby girl snoozing, living her best life, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. So I completely forgot about this. This is uh, 
included in that lot as well. It was just out in my car still. So what did you do on your summer vacation? And it's the 1992 U.S. basketball team. This is the first year they took NBA players um, and put them in the Olympics. Uh, this is what is known as the Dream Team was the nickname. It's the known as the greatest sports team ever assembled. You got Michael Jordan and Patrick Ewing and John Stockton and Carl Malone, David Robinson, Charles Barkley, Scottie Pippen, Magic Johnson. And I think I said Larry Bird already, not sure, but incredible team, incredible piece. It's it's like a poster, but it's thick. It's like a, it's like a foam. Um, the corners are dinged up, as you can see, 1992. But overall, great condition and a super cool piece. So the dogs were jealous that the baby got on the video and they didn't so you can say hi to Tucker and that's Wrigley he is a golden doodle and he is actually Tucker's son so we bred Tucker with a poodle got Wrigley um, just to close I'd like to say that I did message the gentleman I got that lot from just a few minutes ago and asked uh, just because of the random accessories I asked oh did you have more at some time that you got rid of um, and his response almost made me throw up. <laughs> I hate when people tell me this. I said, uh, oh, what'd you have stuff you got rid of? And he said, yeah, 15 years ago, he had a pickup truck um, full of this kind of stuff that I just showed you in the video. And that breaks my heart. I hear it way too often. Um, if this is the leftovers of what he still had out of a pickup truck full, I can only imagine uh, what else was in there. And it sucks, but it is what it is. At least I got something. Uh, once again, I know I'm being repetitive, but have a safe, happy 4th of July, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace.